Hi, I'm Michael from the QT Center for Robotics and I do research in robots and artificial intelligence. I help create technologies like robot cars and help advise people on what AI is, how it can work and what it can mean for them. AI, which stands for artificial intelligence, can be coded in a few different ways. You can write computer code yourself or work with a graphical programming language where you connect together graphical programming blocks. Nowadays, some parts of AI can even code itself, an AI creating another AI. AI has changed a lot over the last few decades. AI can use much more powerful computers today. Even a smartphone running AI today is much more powerful than a supercomputer from 30 years ago. And AI can also run online in the cloud on thousands of computers connected together. AI today is capable of doing lots of things that it couldn't do even just a few years ago. For example, some current AI systems can create amazing artwork and write long essays on a topic. AI bots do some of the things that people do. For example, an AI chatbot can have a conversation with you. These AI bots have learnt how to talk to people by studying how people talk to each other. Right now, people are already having some day-to-day -day interaction with these AI bots. For example, if you're trying to get some support for a product or item you've bought, one of the first things you'll talk to will often be an AI bot. AI is a powerful technology. Like all technologies, it can be used for both good and bad purposes. To use it properly, everyone who is affected by the AI, we call these people stakeholders, has to be helped to understand how the technology works, what could go wrong, and have the chance to have their say on how it should or shouldn't be used. AI technology should serve people and have only a positive, not a negative, impact on their lives. When we talk about robots, we typically mean some sort of machine that operates in the world and has some sort of physical body, like a robot vacuum cleaner or a robot car. A physical robot like this would typically be powered by an AI brain. When we talk about AI bots, we often mean a virtual bot that operates on a computer or in the cloud, but doesn't actually have a physical body. There are lots of exciting roles involved in robotics and AI technology. You can develop the technology or be a person in government who helps control how and where the technology is used. We call this process regulation. Design is really important in creating new AI technology. Designers work with the people who will use or be affected by the AI technology to make sure it's actually useful for them and hence will actually be used. Because AI is such a powerful technology, it's important to also have ethicists who work with us to help work out what is right when it comes down to what we do with AI. AI is everywhere, but a lot of what it's doing is invisible to most of us in our daily lives. If you shop for anything online, AI is helping make recommendations about what you might like to buy. If you're searching for your next TV series or movie to watch, AI may also be making recommendations there. More and more of the news and information that you hear, watch or read is being created by AI. Many of the things around you every day, food, transport, hospitals, is using AI in various forms. If AI as a technology was to suddenly disappear, a lot of things would stop working so well. With AI all around us, it's sometimes easy to forget it's even there. That's okay when things are working well, but sometimes things can go wrong. We need to remember that AI is used everywhere and continue to make sure people are happy with how it is being used. If we're not happy with how AI is being used, we need to tell decision makers like politicians and bosses of companies that we're not happy and those people need to make sure that they listen to us. Thanks so much for sending in your questions and I hope you have lots of fun with AI.